Good morning, boys and girls. It's story time again. And this time we're going to read about some of God's creation. You know that he created everything around us. And he created this little guy called the worm. Have you ever seen one in your garden? They usually are around in your garden. They love to chew. But we're going to find out what happens to them. So this story is called Far Flutter By. One day in the town of Better Than Brown, Cody the Caterpillar crawled on the ground, eating and inching his way through the day. His spirits were low and the heavens were gray. I wonder, he said as he inched up a tree, is there more to this life than just branches and leaves? Then right at that moment, a bird came along, bubbly bird with a beautiful song. I'm from the land of far Flutterby, where God's got good plans for his creatures to fly. These plans include you, so have faith and you'll see. Then Bewley Bird flew off joyfully. Cody the caterpillar called as she left, come back here and tell me, please don't make me guess, for what sort of plans could become or begin? for a lowly land rover with prickly skin. See, all around Cody, the caterpillars ate. They ate, and they ate, and they ate, and they ate. Boring, said Cody. This life isn't grand. I need to find far flutter by. That's gra that grand land. So he crawled up the tree, and he squirmed up the top, and what he saw there made his wiggly heart stop. Then just as he glimpsed that remarkable place, a wind, windy windstorm knocked him flat on his face. But when he looked up, Cody saw a great sight, a magnificent creature soaring in flight. Who, Cody asked, and just what kind are you? Where did you come from, so pretty and new? My name, she exclaimed, is Franny McFly. I come from the land of far Flutterby, where brown becomes blue and yellow and gold, where life is a daydream that never grows old. Further, said Franny, you really should go. It's God's plan for you, and I think you should know there's more to this life than crawling and eating, more to this life than sitting and sleeping. You need to be patient. You need to hold on. We'll find a way there. And with that, she was gone. Eager to travel too far flutter by, Cody needed some wings. He needed to fly. So he strapped on some leaves and he jumped all around but his flight sent him swirling back down in the ground. There, in a heap, he thought life could be tricky. Upside down sideways and pokey and prickly. Still, he held on to the hope because that's what he'd heard from Franny McFly and Bewley Bird. Okay, Cody said, is there really a plan for me to find more than I have in this land? Where will it happen and how will I know? Because here I'm still boring, still wiggly, still slow. But the very next day, Cody had a strange feeling. It made him feel dizzy and wobbly and reeling, spinning and spinning by sun and by moon until he was wrapped up in a sticky cocoon. He hung upside down in the shade of a leaf and that's where he stayed for nearly three weeks. All hope was lost and he was downer than down, stuck there forever in better than brown until one sunny day he awoke with a start and something shot straight through his wiggly heart I can't give up hope. I have to believe, Cody shouted and shook from his head to his knees. Then 
and he wiggled and squiggled and jiggled about, jiggling and wriggling from all the way out. He was so very stuck. He was sweaty and sore for nothing had ever been this hard before. But that's when poor Cody remembered the words of Fanny McFly and Beulah Bird. God's plans are good, so have faith, and you'll see. Then he struggled and struggled and finally broke free. Now something was different. The heavens were blue and Cody's old body was bustling brand new. He stretched and he flexed and he shook out the crickles. He felt so much lighter without all the wrinkles. He looked around behind him and there of all things were beautiful, bountiful, wondrous wings. He changed a lot, didn't he? Isn't he beautiful? Cody fluttered his wings and he flew off the ground and his flight took him high above better than brown. His struggle had placed him in far flutter by and Cody was now a bright new butterfly. With colors of blue and yellow and gold, Cody's wonderful life now would never grow old. For these were God's plans, just as good as the word of Fanny McFly and Beulah Lee Bird. Cody called to his friends as he dipped and he soared, have faith through the hard times, believe in more, for there is the journey and stuff is the stain. The struggle, the struggle is what gives you wings. That's the story of what God does to the little butter, to the caterpillar and changes them to a butterfly. Thanks for listening. See you next time.